Yeah, I was shy, man. So it wasn't a mentor. It was books. Also, I didn't have the resources. I'll show you a picture of the room I used to, I grew up in. So this is when I was living on the um, north side of St. Louis. St. Louis is, is home for me. St. Louis is the most, I think FBI statistics say it's the most dangerous city in the U.S. We literally lead the the nation in some of the worst categories, violent crimes and this and that. And uh, I grew up on the north side of St. Louis, which is the worst part. I was lucky. I had both of my parents. Dad was a cop. Mom was a nurse. Um, and they were together. Next door, drug dealers. I wake up go on the porch, you see bullet casings on the porch, you hear gunshots in the middle of the night, you get used to it, doesn't freak me out. Somehow, sometimes I even find comfort in here, and oh, the gunshot, weird. Anyway, so this was my room. These are the books <laughs> in, my, in my little messy, messy room. This is the window, bed. So this is kind of like where I come from. So for the audience who's listening, it's bed, window, and stacks, yeah. piles and piles of books. Mm, that's all you need. <laughs> See, the books were the way out. Chris Rock made a joke. <laughs> Love Chris Rock. Chris Rock is edgy, man. Yeah, he is. He said, if you want to hide something from a black person, put it in a book. Whew. Funny joke. Yeah, you try not to laugh. I'm not so you laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Gates was interviewed by a reporter. They asked him, Bill, if you could have any superpower in the world, what would it be? Bill, he didn't say he wanted to be strong like the Hulk or fly like Superman or spin webs like Spider-Man. He said, if I could have any superpower, it would be to read books faster. faster. Warren Buffett said, the more you learn, the more you earn. The books were everything to me. It's such a, it's such a simple investment, but it can change everything. Every problem that you're dealing with in life, somebody else has gone through that problem, transcended it, and wrote a book about it. The books are the cheat code. So for me... It was picking up books about how to how to be happy because I, I knew first in order for my life to get better, I had to get better. One of those books that had a huge impact on me, it is the second most translated book in the world, second to the Bible. Some say it's the wisest book ever written. It's called the Tao Te Ching, Book of the Way, Lao Tzu. Amazing book. It's poetry. This is probably why I had a connection to it, right? Being yeah. in rap and coming into poetry. But it was books, you know? I didn't, I didn't have the mentors, so it was the literature for me. Spending my last, my last money on, it was studio time and then books. All the money I had in my account because I knew it was an investment. I don't know. I, I, I grew up different also from my brothers. Uh, I got two older brothers. Okay. I don't know, man. I was, I was always like, there's nothing I can't do. If I really want to do it, and I never had limitations. Maybe growing up, I felt like if I, if I put my mind to it, I could be the best rapper in the world. I could be this. I could be that. If that's something I really wanted to do, I could, I think, what Will Smith say, I could be president if I wanted to. I, I felt that when he said that years ago, because I, I feel the same way. I mean, there's nothing you can't do um, because it's been done by people probably with worse circumstances than you have. So long story short, I think books were definitely my portal into changing my life.